Battery giant CATL announced today that its Naxtra sodium ion battery has successfully passed the GB38031-2025 safety requirements for power batteries of electric vehicles. Certification on September 5, becoming the world's first sodium ion battery to meet this new national standard. The new standard, set to be officially implemented on July 1, 2026, aims to eliminate fire risks in electric vehicles at the source by imposing strict safety requirements across multiple dimensions, including thermal diffusion, bottom impact, and fast charging cycles. In third-party authoritative testing conducted by the Automotive Testing Center of China Automotive Technology and Research Center, CATARC, CATL's Naxtra battery demonstrated safety performance at both the cell and battery pack levels, successfully passing all tests. The Naxtra battery not only reduces dependence on lithium resources and creates a safer, lower-carbon battery ecosystem, but also addresses low-temperature performance issues in cold regions, promoting the adoption of new energy vehicles in China's northern and other high-latitude areas. This certification represents a milestone in the large-scale application of sodium-ion batteries. CATL previously announced in April that its Naxtra sodium-ion battery would begin mass production in December 2025 with initial deployment in its Chaco Swap electric vehicle models. The battery maintains 90% usable capacity at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius and features an energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram, comparable to lithium-iron phosphate batteries. It supports peak charging rates of 5C, offers a 500 km range, and has a lifespan exceeding 10,000 cycles. The company's chocolate battery swapping business has experienced growth, adding 105 new stations and activating 103 stations in August alone, marking the first time it has broken the 100 mark in both metrics. As of the end of August, CATL has established 512 chocolate swapping stations across 34 cities nationwide. CATL has stated it aims to reach its goal of 1,000 stations by 2025 for its chocolate battery swap network. Pricing Structure CATL's pricing structure for the Chaco Swap service is based on a monthly subscription model, which varies depending on the battery size and usage. It includes two standardized, chocolate, battery blocks. 20 hashtag block. This is a smaller battery designed for compact cars, providing a range of about 400 kilometers. Family plan. Approximately $51 USD per month with a mileage limit, e.g., up to 3,000 kilometers. Travel plan. Approximately $65 USD per month for unlimited mileage. 25 hash block. A larger battery for mid to large size vehicles, offering a range of about 500 to 600 kilometers. Family plan. Approximately $69 USD per month with a mileage limit. Travel plan. Approximately $82 USD per month for unlimited mileage. This subscription model allows consumers to purchase the EV without the battery, which can significantly reduce the upfront purchase price. For example, a car priced at 200,000 yuan might have its cost reduced by over 50% if the battery is leased. Accessible. The Chaco Swap model makes EVs more accessible by tackling several key barriers to adoption. Reduced upfront cost. By separating the cost of the battery from the car itself, the initial purchase price of the EV becomes much lower, making it comparable to or even cheaper than a gasoline-powered car. This directly addresses one of the biggest deterrents for potential buyers. Elimination of range anxiety and charging time. Traditional EV owners often experience range anxiety and the inconvenience of long charging times. A typical fast charging session can take 30 minutes or more. In contrast, the Chaco Swap system allows drivers to replace a depleted battery with a fully charged one in as little as 100 seconds, which is faster than refilling a gasoline tank. This convenience makes EVs a more practical option for long-distance travel and for commercial users like taxi or delivery drivers. Battery health and longevity. Battery degradation is a major concern for EV owners, as it can reduce the vehicle's range and resale value over time. With the Chaco Swap service, the battery is owned and managed by CATL, not the consumer. This means the consumer is always using a healthy, fully functional battery from the network, and any issues with battery health, maintenance, or replacement are handled by CATL. This provides peace of mind and simplifies ownership. Standardization and Compatibility CATL's approach of creating standardized battery blocks, 
20 hash and 25 hash, is crucial. This allows multiple automakers to design vehicles that are compatible with the same swapping stations, similar to how different brands of cars can all use the same type of gasoline. This ecosystem approach is vital for the widespread adoption of battery swapping, as it eliminates the need for proprietary swapping networks for each car brand. Production and Raw Materials Lithium-ion batteries rely on materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, which are geographically concentrated, have limited global supply, and are often sourced through environmentally destructive and water-intensive mining processes. Lithium mining, in particular, can lead to severe water depletion and habitat disruption in arid regions. Sodium-ion batteries use sodium, an element that is the sixth most abundant on Earth, easily extracted from seawater or salt deposits. This reduces reliance on critical, scarce minerals, mitigates geopolitical risks, and makes the production process less environmentally damaging from a resource extraction standpoint. The manufacturing of sodium-ion batteries also uses less energy as it requires lower processing temperatures. Recycling and end-of-life management The recycling of lithium-ion batteries is a complex and often costly process due to the mix of valuable and hazardous materials. Improper disposal can lead to the release of toxic substances, such as heavy metals and flammable electrolytes, into the environment, contaminating soil and water. While recycling infrastructure for lithium-ion batteries is becoming more established, the processes are energy-intensive and can be inefficient at recovering all materials, particularly lithium. Sodium-ion batteries are considered easier and less hazardous to recycle. They typically don't contain heavy metals like cobalt or nickel, which are the most valuable but also the most toxic components of many lithium-ion batteries. This simpler chemical composition makes the recycling process more straightforward and safer, reducing the risk of environmental contamination and making it more economically viable to recover materials. However, since the technology is still emerging, the recycling infrastructure for sodium-ion batteries is not yet as developed as it is for lithium-ion. Potential Impact on Global EV Markets CATL's breakthrough with the Naxtra sodium-ion battery could have far-reaching effects on the global electric vehicle market. By offering a safer, more affordable alternative to traditional lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion technology may accelerate EV adoption in regions where cost and climate challenges have hindered growth. Countries with colder climates, such as parts of Europe, North America, and Northern Asia, could particularly benefit from the battery's excellent low-temperature performance. Furthermore, the reduced reliance on scarce lithium resources could ease supply chain bottlenecks and price volatility, making EVs more accessible worldwide. As other manufacturers and governments observe CATL's progress, we may see increased investment and collaboration to develop and commercialize sodium-ion batteries on a global scale. Challenges and Limitations of Sodium-Ion Batteries While sodium-ion batteries offer many advantages, there are still challenges to overcome before they can fully replace lithium-ion technology. One key limitation is energy density. Although CATL's Naxtra battery achieves 175 watt-hours per kilogram, which is comparable to lithium-iron phosphate batteries, it remains lower than the highest-performing lithium-ion chemistries used in premium EVs. This means sodium-ion batteries may initially be better suited for mid-range or budget vehicles rather than high-performance models. Additionally, the technology is relatively new, and large-scale manufacturing processes, supply chains for sodium-based materials, and recycling infrastructure are still under development. Continued research and development will be necessary to improve energy density, cycle life, and cost-effectiveness to compete broadly across all EV segments.